This is Elizabeth Hassman, and um, this is my first video, my first tutorial video. And I am going to sew a handbag. I'm kind of an intermediate sewer. I'm not advanced, but I have done several um, necessary clutch wallets and I'm improving my skills and I found this pattern on the internet. There's lots and lots of videos on the necessary clutch wallet. So I thought, well, I don't think we need another video on the necessary clutch wallet. These are some of my samples. This is one. This is the inside. I use my husband's blue jeans on the inside. It's an early version. Learning a lot about sewing by making this. Here's another one. Putting on rivets, closures. There's a closure. It's kind of a cool little closure. Look. Put the, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Using different scraps. This is a very scrappy kind of a wallet. There's lots of really good, good videos on this wallet. And I love that you can mix and match scraps with this, this pattern and it looks really good. See, I'm a Christian and I love the cross and, and uh, I love mixing. I love that, that vinyl. These, this is all vinyl. Most, I had a few pieces of, of um, suede. I haven't, I have other, other necessary clutch wallets that I made in, I gave them away. These are what I have left. And I made about 16 of them. And um, that someone told me at one point, if you really want to learn a pattern, you keep sewing that pattern over and over and over again, and you'll get really good at it. And wow, it's true. It's really frustrating. Like I have four that I haven't put the, um, the, the rivets on and they're sitting there and I got frustrated with the rivets on one of them because the 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 uh, fabric was so thick I couldn't get the rivets through and I uh, and I bought a, uh, a a punch this one here Ugh, I can't get it to go through this is my punch nice punch huh So anyway, I, I could not get the rivets to go through. So I, on this one wallet, so I just put it away for a while. I was at the swap meet the other day and I saw a little anvil, a tiny little anvil and I almost bought it and I wish I'd bought it because it would have been perfect for helping me get that that through that fabric with a little rubber mallet that I have and get that that last rivet in so I don't know next weekend actually it's Friday oh no it's Thursday this weekend I will go back to the the swap meet and maybe that little tiny little anvil will be there <laughs> I doubt it <laughs> but you know you could dream <laughs> and that's what the swap meet is all about I love our little swap meet here and it's in Marysville at the casino, it, you can get so many great things at the swap meet. So, and I'm a I'm a art artist, and you know I just get these these crazy whims. And you could show up with twenty dollars and come home with like two hundred dollars worth of stuff that you pay for in an arts and crafts store easily. So let's get back on the subject. I'm off the subject. 
we're back to this pattern. It's a, it's the one that I showed you in the beginning of the video. I downloaded it. Um, this is what um, you get, you pay for. Okay. It is how many pages? Let's see. Well, there's lots of instructions on this on this pattern. There are this is a well written pattern, a very well written pattern. Um, 26 written instructions with lots of diagrams in color. And then there are the pattern pieces. Well, the first time my brand new printer missed a bunch of pages. I don't know why. I don't get that. My brand new printer. There's my brand new printer. Missed a bunch of pages. I hope you got that. Yeah. Odd, huh? So, anyway. Went and redid it. And I have a complete copy. Well, I'm not going to waste those other pages, of course, because, you know, my friend said to keep trying the same pattern over and over again, and, and you will get really good at this. Well, I was hoping that I've got a bunch of new toys. I got a new printer, I got a new sewing machine, and a new brother scan and cut. Want to see my scan and cut? I was hoping... I was hoping I could scan the pattern pieces onto my new brother scan and cut, but I'm not that good at it yet. It's hard. So, and I've been watching videos and I um, got the pattern pieces on and got them downloaded onto the machine, but I can't eliminate the background. I can't figure that out. So when I print it up, everything that's on my cutting mat starts cutting onto my sample piece of paper and I don't want that on my fabric. I don't want my fabric to be all full of holes where it shouldn't be because I want to be able to use those little, that's the purpose of having a scan and cut because you're supposed to be able to use every little spot on your fabric and you can fussy cut and you can do all kinds of things and it's super easy to cut and you should be able to cut out these suit these purses and wallets in the fabric like so so easy but right now it's not easy so i'm gonna cut it out the old-fashioned way by hand with my scissors and my tape and i'm just taping it together you see my little tape dispenser where is it there right there my ladybug tape dispenser and there's my pattern pieces and my old fashioned scissors and I'm just sitting here cutting out my pattern pieces and the way these come out I don't know if you've ever cut out a downloaded pattern is um they will only, you know, when you print something from from the um, from the printer, of course, you can only print as big as as big as the um, the printed paper is, right? So, of course, you join your larger pieces. Of course, that's joining A to I, which isn't correct, right? But you join your pieces that way. You get the idea, right? Yeah. So that's how you get a bigger piece. And then you tape them. And so, and then, um, you know, you get your larger pieces. And so it's, it's very economical. Plus, most of the patterns don't seem to have any rectangles. They, I don't know. I wish they would because it really is, I mean, I'm sure it's saving time for them or some kind of a, you know, saving them some kind of pain in the neck, but it sure isn't saving me and I'm the customer. So I would like it if they would print out the rectangles, you know, but of course I'm gonna do those on my brother because I could sure figure out how to make a rectangle. 
and I have been gathering up all, all the supplies I need for this this purse that I'm making. The um, it's called the Sienna handbag. Sienna handbag, and it is so cute. It is the cutest handbag. And see what I like about it is right here this middle part. And all of the sample, I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring them up, all the pictures later on. Maybe I can bring them up. But I'm an artist, and I like that this this bag, this bag is a canvas. You see that? It's a canvas. See that woman in the middle? Now... It has lots of accents. It's a very complicated bag. It's not easy. It's gonna be a real challenge. However, um, with all my new toys, I have a new embroidery sewing machine as well. This will be a lot of fun to decorate this bag. And I've got a huge bead collection and my husband does too. My husband loves doing that too. And, and I you know, years of macrame and, you know, all kinds of craft work, I, weaving, all sorts of things. And I have a huge stash, stash of fabric. So this will be fun to, to uh, play with the designs of this. So I hope you join me. I am going to try to do this bag justice. Um, it is a beautiful bag. It is a beautiful bag, and my first attempt might not be perfect. I'm pretty sure it won't, but I will try to give you a, a video um, video journey, okay, uh, along the way of how I can get from A to B. And maybe you'll learn something, maybe, and I'm sure I will learn something. And because how are you gonna learn unless you, you stretch and you try, right? And this is a big stretch for me. Making this video, it's a huge stretch. And um, this bag for sure is a huge stretch for me. So thank you. Thank you for joining me. And, um, I will tell you a little bit about myself as we go along the way. I'll, I'll you know, share a little bit about my story as we go. And um, it's a lot of fun being here. And I'm here in my room, my bedroom. I share with my husband. Let me show you. <laughs> it's kind of messy right now. It's In fact, it's a lot messy. But I put a sheet on top of my bedspread so I don't ruin it. Can't really. Okay. That's a painting. That that's not really a painting. That is a wool. A wool. Felt work that I did. And I have artwork. This is my little area for my creative space, which that's all I want to show you right now. I have. A sewing machine right now over here. Let me put it where you can see it. It's my Bernina. Ooh. Yeah. My dream machine. Anyway, yeah. I've been sewing a long time, but I never had such a nice sewing machine. And I never had such great toys to play with. But God has blessed me. And I hope he blesses you. Maybe I'll tell you how it happened and how I, you know, how I can help you. You know, there are some little things I've learned along the way. I'm 60 years old now. And I've learned that God, God will bless all of us. He wants to bless you. Okay. He does. And, and, um, if you listen, I'll show you how it happens. And um, I'm in recovery in the AA. They say, follow the winners, right? Well, I'm a winner. So follow me, I'll show you. I'll show you how it happened. Um, I got some time, some good time. 
happy time. And um, I'm married. I have children. They're all doing great. They're doing fabulous. And um, I'm having a good life. I've lost, uh, just recently, I lost about 34 pounds, which I, I plan on losing more. I need to lose more, at least another 34 pounds. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's a good start. It's a very good start. It feels very good. So uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you continue to join me. And um, have a great blessed day. Thank you.